Good morning, traders. Can you guys hear me and see my screen? If you can, just type uh, yes in the uh, advanced hashtag advanced webinar uh, chat room there. Should be able to see my screen. Okay. Okay, great. All right, we're all set. So let's uh, let's get going. Uh, and uh, all right, thanks, guys. Um, this is not the basic webinar. Okay, uh, this is the advanced analysis webinar. Um, so, yeah, uh, for those of you, I mean, uh, you know, these are free and open all at the moment, um, and uh, they typically weren't. Uh, these these webinars they are part of the educational um, course. Uh, the, and package that you got complimentary with your bookmap subscription uh, with Global Plus. Uh, so just a, a note about our education uh, if you're new in here. Uh, so we do offer education with the product. A pretty robust educational plan. We have an educational course that's online. It's four parts. Uh, I encourage you to go and watch that first before coming to these webinars. Uh, it, it lays a very nice foundation from everything that we talk about here uh, because what we're going to do then is go through that same course content here in the live market uh, so you can apply exactly exactly what you learn from the course uh, that's the concept here so uh, you know you got the course and then uh, uh, learn there you can review it whenever you want and then you've got these live webinars ask questions in the live market so you can apply it uh, and understand it in real time. What we'll do here is, is forward-looking analysis. It's not hindsight. We'll read the current order flow in the current market, and we'll give insight to where we think price is going to move next. So uh, we'll go for about an hour. It's at 10 a.m. here East Coast time. We'll go for, you know, we've been going over an hour, uh, but uh, that's typically what we do. Uh, and uh, tomorrow we'll have J Trader, a stocks trader, and on Thursday we'll have Scott Bolsini, a futures trader. Uh, on Friday, then uh, we'll we'll go back to this live analysis here. The concept is with the live traders um, and live trading room that we have uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Concept is all right. So now you can apply what you've learned, uh, but now you'll have. Uh, other traders and learn their specific setups, their way of trading, their way of looking at it. There are many ways to trade. Uh, Bookmap is a platform, not a trading strategy. Uh, so uh, we um, uh, offer uh, other traders in here, uh, get their insights, uh, wh what they're doing. They're excellent uh, and you can learn a lot from them. Uh, you can also learn a lot in these uh, uh, webinars here and, and uh, uh, it, it's in general. Uh, it, it will apply for any type of strategy. Uh, if you guys are looking at FIB levels, you're looking at, uh, uh, you know, floor trader pivots, or you're looking at uh, uh, trend lines. We went over some trend lines yesterday, uh, etc. So anyway, uh, that's the concept here with the uh, education uh, that you get with Bookmap, uh, and we're doing it right now in Discord. All right, so anyway, let's go through the um, disclosures here. The general disclosure, all bookmap limited materials, information, and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. Risk disclosure, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. All right.
Uh, hello, Bruce. I'm not sure if you can hear me, but I think you've uh, lost audio. Just bear with us, guys. Okay, can you guys hear me now? <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, we, we hear you now. Okay, all right. Sorted. Well, yeah, my, yeah, this is really upsetting. Um, brand new headphones. I've been having problems with them, so uh, there might be some background noise. So sorry about this. Um, uh, that's the situation that we're going to have to deal with in this webinar. Um, all right. So uh, I can try one more time plugging in here. Um, it just is going to be sound is going to be better. All right. How about can you can you hear me now? Yes, we hear you now. Okay. It's better okay. quality. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the headphones are working again. I don't know why they disconnected. Sorry, guys. Uh, I took uh, a little bit of time. Uh, anyway, uh, I was just talking about. Um, if you guys have questions about some of these things, like uh, in some of the tweets here from our, our Twitter feed, uh, ask them uh, in here. Uh, we'll be happy to go through, uh, you know, uh, like, for example, uh, these some of these concepts here, exhaustion. Uh, this is, you know, understanding market structure. This is all our education. Uh, understanding the aggressors, understanding exhaustion, uh, who's in control in certain areas. Uh, once you start to comprehend like exhaustion in a trend, look at some of these entries you can get in here. It's just amazing, right? So, uh, you know, you start to see a flip in the order book or the order flow change over here. Now you're starting to see exhaustion on the other side. Uh, you know, buyers starting to come in on the, on the uh, um, you know, lifting the offer, etc. So uh, these kinds of concepts, just um, that's what we're here for, uh, to, you know, ask questions and we'll cover 
uh, this kind of information. Uh, also, you know, we saw some of the uh, uh, higher time frame. This was from a few days ago, the, the 6th of uh, January last week. Uh, some, some massive icebergs. We've seen massive icebergs buying uh, for a number of days now. Okay, so how does that apply? Well, here's how it applies. Here's our, our we, we, we were talking about it yesterday in this, in this uh, uh, potential reversal yesterday. Um, and uh, it panned out really nicely. Okay, so uh, uh, anyway, starting to understand some of these concepts uh, and uh, applying, uh, you know, market structure and order flow within that structure, uh, you, you can start to look for these moves to unfold. Uh, and this one unfolded really nicely. Uh, so, uh, and this is much, much higher time frame stuff. Okay? So it, uh, uh, book map, we've been covering the higher time frame stuff because we can uh, lately. Uh, I think it's, uh, it, it it's kind of presented itself uh so uh, uh you know it's it's given us some uh, some good feedback um uh, and looking for that to unfold now you know during the webinar we went through all sorts of little micro trends and etc in here uh, i want to show you where those um recordings are now okay on our youtube channel here uh, you scroll down a bit uh and um uh we we kind of uh arranged it a little differently Bookmap intro videos, uh, pro trader webinars, selected webinars, features and components, uh, order flow education videos, and then the recordings are here. Okay, recordings of the streaming, uh, and uh, here's yesterday's. Okay, so uh, yep, yeah, I think uh, you'll find uh, these a lot easier for access. They're just right there on our YouTube page. Okay, and we'll upload this one. Uh, uh, you know, af after it finishes here, it'll take a few hours. So take a look for it. All right, let's just jump in here. Let's see what's going on. Let's start again with our higher time frame analysis. That seems to work pretty well for everybody. Now, this is something that we drew yesterday, uh, and uh, uh, we're going to cover that first. Okay, so uh, this played out really nicely. Uh, so uh, we had a trend line. We had a couple different trend lines. I deleted one. Uh, I kept the other in here, uh, and you can see what happened here. Well, someone was buying off of it, right? Uh, we're still in an uptrend in this daily chart. Okay, we're making higher highs. We're making higher lows. Uh, yeah, it was uh, you know some pretty big sell-off here uh, in in this area here and these areas here as well. So we're kind of seeing some some market churn uh, back and forth in here. So it's different than it was uh, previously, uh, and uh, these are big swings uh, as well. So anyway, trend line and we drew up this zone in here. Uh, I, I was kind of surprised to see this trend line hold at this point. I thought we'd probably get down a little bit lower in some of these areas here in this S&P 500. Uh, we didn't. Uh, well, we, we haven't so far at least. Uh, you know, people were buying off of this. Uh, and uh, we witnessed that buying back here on the, on the 6th in, uh, in this, on this day here. Okay, so we've come up to that area here and tested it uh, on the overnight, in fact. So this is where we saw those 14,000 uh, icebergs. Now we saw another 10,000, you know, I, I can't recall where. Uh, may, maybe you guys remember uh, uh, somewhere though along the way. Uh, maybe, maybe it was yesterday as well. Uh, but we've seen, you know, like, you know, thousands, several thousands of icebergs uh, getting filled uh, on the bid. Uh, we've seen a lot of uh, uh, liquidity getting filled on the bid as well, okay, in these areas here as price is coming down. So, you know, it takes a while for this to kind of uh, turn around. Uh, but once, you know, the market uh, basically runs out of seller selling pressure and you see buying pressure come in the other way, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for a, a shift and a change in the order flow. Uh, and uh, yeah, this one uh, uh, was a, a pretty, pretty nice one, pretty nice point move. We, I think we were we ended the webinar, we were looking for just the move to 4,600 here. Uh, somewhere around here, we were looking at it down here, and we're looking for the move to 4,600 uh, as, as a target. Well, that unfolded, uh, and, and look at the pullback though. This is what I wanna cover, uh, and talk about market structure again. Okay, so we're talking about looking at this higher time frame structure, and starting to understand these levels here, but then we're gonna look at even lower lower time frame structure, and we're going to start to understand like what's going on in here. Uh, so pretty heavy sell-off on Monday. 
again hit, hits it again down into the 75 level uh, and um, uh, then we saw something kind of shift and change in here we're looking for the move back to uh, you know some of these swings in here uh, and then also I think around 90 and then 4600 uh, and uh, but look at the pullback here this is a uh, market structure again here, here's where we broke out from right down here I mean there's also this structure here as you guys can see and look at the pullback here uh, to it okay now it, went, it dipped a little bit lower here but it went down to this kind of market structure here and, and it bounced off of that All right so uh, anyway and then look at the breakout here above this swing here okay just after uh, one around 130 or so and look at the buying above it here okay they're moving it away from the structure and this is what we were covering yesterday um, uh, and then we you know the webinar ended uh, somewhere around here um, but uh, uh, again we we start to see lots of uh, lots of buying in here you know they're they're taking control of this market uh, and uh, we have a nice move to the upside and for the for the overnight as well okay so again understanding the, the structure here understanding the higher time frame structure uh, and then start starting to anticipate or get insight to where they might start to buy, okay, where they might start to sell, etc. cetera. Uh, and then look at, uh, you know, the daily, okay, in here, whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Uh, start to look at the uh, the day's action, uh, and and start to align these time frames, these these structures together, uh, and then look for the order flow within these structures to give us the insight. All right, so what do we have for today? All right, well we we see the pullback here, okay, and it uh, looks like, you know, for the day at least, it's a downtrend. Uh, sellers taking control below this swing here. Uh, bigger picture though, like this is where the buyers took control. Okay, just a, just above this uh, 4600 or around 4600, uh, and they've been in control since, right? Here's sellers' uh, reaction to it, uh, trying to take control at the cash open, moving this market lower. Now, where did they move it? Let's take a look. Okay, right, just shy of the swing. So we're still in an uptrend actually. Okay, so they did not come down below this swing yet. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, yeah, let's, we made a higher high here. We're still making higher lows here, okay, basically. All right, so let's take a look and, and jump into current market action and see what's going on. All right, so cash open, move to the downside, into high liquidity here. Uh, once again, uh, down at the lows here. It, it did not trade down into this uh, 4620 area, which is kind of curious. I, I would look for that move. Uh, and um, uh, you can see that uh, some buying starts to come in here a bit. We do make a lower low here, right? But we, we're starting to kind of key in on some of these levels here. This is a pullback to this structure where, this, where these sellers dropped it here at 940. Okay, and we have a nice cluster of buying up here. Right? We still made a lower low though. Okay, now we're making a higher high, and now we're making a higher low. This structure here is really no different. In fact, let me turn off the icebergs, the on-chart icebergs, so we don't get distracted by that. I really like this on-chart icebergs. I mean, we've been using that on the higher time frame as well, uh, start to identify the uh, uh, purchasing of these icebergs um, or the transactions. Uh, so let's deselect that. Uh, and then let's take a look here at uh, the um, structure that we're talking about. Same ideas here, same concepts. Okay. So this is where uh, uh, we came back and retested because this is where we dropped from, right here. Uh, and then this is where we just broke out from over here. Okay. Now we retested a little bit lower, but they, they also kind of broke out from here as well. Okay, that's where we've retested so far. All right, so we're starting to understand bigger picture. The structure is like this. It's a little little wonky. It's not as precise, but uh, there's some details in here. But more or less something like that. And we're above it now. 
All right, so let's zoom in a little closer. Let's start to see what's going on with the order flow within this structure above uh, this level here of 46.40. Okay, so we've come up here and tested the highs a few times. Okay, and we're making lower highs here uh, at the moment. Okay, we do see a nice cluster of buying up here. Uh, not able to take it higher though. Not able to take it higher. So let's see if we get a bit of selling in here to try to take it down to 45 and then maybe even 40. All right, so anyway, that's kind of scenario one. Now, I don't see those sellers here. I'm seeing buying coming in, so I think they're going to trade right back up to 51 here uh, and then try to break out maybe at this point to 52, 53, and then maybe 60. Okay, so we did not get the sellers we're looking for here. So here we go. Here's our here's our move into 51 or 52 already. Still looking for higher, looking for this 53 and three quarters. Now we just made an, ah, we still made a lower high here actually. Interesting. Right here. It's pretty close. It's getting pretty close. But we still seen buying up here. So that's good. We got that going for us. All right. So let's see if we can get another cluster of buying up here. Let's see if we can get a skew in the order book on the bid. We're finding buyers. All right, buyers. Let's see it move up in this 53 and as soon as i say that look at the volatility that just just picks up here this is this is hard to to, to know when this is going to happen <clears throat> it looks like just a seller swept the order book here just dumped uh had had a large order uh and um yeah, that's what they did. In fact, this is kind of a, a nasty move here uh, from the sell side. Look at these guys. Someone came in here, dumped it, and then uh, high liquidity on the uh, uh, on the offer. Buyers took them on, though. They traded into them, and they, they took all that liquidity. Okay, We have to zoom in to kind of see that in the heat map, as you guys can see. It was a very, very brief moment. Okay, so you know this this just disrupted that whole that whole pattern here. Okay, so we're back into the range here, and now we're down at the bottom of the range here. Okay, we're, I imagine we're gonna get buyers in here and try to bring it right back into fifty. And then let's see if we can get right back up to our fifty-two here. Okay, so we're back in the range. Let's see if we can get to 50. Okay, we're at 50. Let's see if we can get a skew in the order book here. A little bit more buying in here. A skew on the bid. And the reaction to that bid is buyers. Uh, and then see the move right back up to what we were originally looking for until this player came in here and really spoiled the whole party here. Okay, uh, this is what happens uh, in, in the market. I mean, like... Uh, you know why this can be so frustrating sometimes uh, when uh, everything's looking good here and someone comes in and just really spoils the party and, and knocks your stop out here okay uh, the one thing that we've got going for us here is we're smaller players we can get out we can see this we can get right back in okay and yeah I, I would get back in and I would be looking for this move back up to 52 here And we've seen this just so many times. Still, this is still in an uptrend, you know, from this move on at least. Okay. Seller so still hitting the bid hard. Just can't do it. It made it up to 50 at least. Okay. Still in an uptrend. I mean, this is where these guys, you know, came in. Okay, right here. Still looking for buyers to bring it right back into 50 here. See if they can.
Okay. Now we got to go through the opposite scenario here. If we, yeah, it looks like the opposite scenario may unfold here. Look, look at the selling coming in. All right, they're going to go for 40 here. Is have to kind of flip on that one pretty quickly. Um, the uh, reason being is that this is where the buyers came in. We're below that area here, and looking for them to kind of squeeze the longs here uh, down to this uh, 40 level. Okay, I mean, these guys were laying in the book here for a while, and we did not test them. All right, let's see if we can get our sellers here. So we had to kind of flip, flip pretty quickly on that. Everything was looking good, and this, this guy came in here. Still looking for it here. Boy, it just, just drove it lower. Boy, we can't even get down to 40? Really? Yeah, I'd be looking for sellers again down here around 45 for them to drop it into 40. There's some exhaustion. All right, let's see if we get our sellers right here. There they go. Let's see it more than that. And we want to get, we got to get below 45 though. And this is not what we're looking for for that scenario. <laughs> right back to 50. Okay. Really, they can't even get down to 40. All right. Well, I mean, that we know that there's buying in here, and we know the selling. It we can look at it. We can look at the dots. Let's make the dots a little bit bigger. Okay, and let's let, let's also look at the uh, the bars down here. Okay, there's still more buying than selling in here. We can look at also our cumulative volume delta. Okay, it's there's more buying than there is selling here. Okay, so we're we're. Boy, this is this is a, a some flip flopping back and forth in here. I'm surprised. Like if they can get it, usually down below this 46 or you know this area here, usually we'll see the test into 40, and that was looking pretty good. I'm surprised to see it go right back to 50. Uh, let's see as often. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with you. Like, uh, I, I like looking at the stocks, uh, uh, David, uh, Tesla and, uh, and Amazon to give some clues. Or, you know, or the NASDAQ in general. Uh, you know, these different, uh, Different markets here, different indexes. How's this Amazon doing? It looks like Amazon wants to go down to this 3250 here. All right, well, let's see if we get a correlation here. Nice cluster of buying yet again. Looking for the breakout here, but uh, nope, sellers take it right right away uh, on down. Down below this little zone here, or this, this uh, structure here. So yeah, they're gonna, it looks like they're trending here. Yeah, I like your correlation, David. So let's see if uh, we can we can test test down to 42 and then 40. There's still more buying in here though, right? That's the this is just really tricky trading. We're looking, we're trying to gain some sort of clarity in here uh, of who's in control, and and it's kind of hard right now. Uh, we don't really, you know, I mean, well, the one thing we do know is we're in an uptrend, and we do know there's more buying in here. Okay. We do know though we are making just slightly lower highs in here, and it, we just couldn't get back up into like our 53 um, and then 60 uh, area that we we're looking for. 
Uh, looks like they got it now, though. I mean, like it looks like we're going to break out here. And uh, yeah, this is kind of a it's kind of a leap of faith in this one. And just you just jump in and look for the move up into 60 here because they've done all this BS in here. Uh, this player that disrupted the whole the whole process over here. Right. And then now we're just looking for a move up into 60. What we were originally looking for over here and it had to go through all this BS in here. A shake and he's still in here. Look at that. Still in here. Still dumping. Right. Uh, this is part of part of the game. This is part of the markets. And we, we, this is what's really it's it's frustrating. It's very hard to know when this is going to happen. We got a little bit of insight here, I guess. Like uh, I should have been more zoomed in. Um, we did have high liquidity here on the uh, on the offer. Uh, and uh, the reaction to it was sellers. Okay. Now, in fact, none of these guys traded here. None of these contracts traded here. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Some did. Very, very few. All right. Three. Into 289 contracts, there are 300. All right. And even more liquidity, one tick lower. What's the reaction? A little, little hard to 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 see here but then you see this you see the reaction here the sellers come in okay and then again this is just this is impossible to know uh, when is that seller going to come in and do this again now the only thing that we have going for us in here uh, is that we've seen this behavior once before uh, just just uh, minutes ago so this is uh, this is really tricky trading I think Yeah, so we made it down to this 42 liquidity. God, this is just brutal. Just brutal that, uh, you know, we're looking for that beautiful breakout here. And look at this. All right. So, you know, this is the condition for today. And this is what's going on. And uh, very, very uh, challenging uh, to, to try to understand uh, when this might happen here. One little clue is this, but boy, I mean... It's not 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 a whole lot uh, to hang our hat on there. Okay, we made it down to 42 and a half liquidity. Still looking for 40 though, if we can. Okay, icebergs are all over the place as well. We're not getting too much from our icebergs. Okay, you can see it here. This is pretty good buying down here. A lot of selling in here. How about for the cash session? Yeah, a lot of selling icebergs in here. And then buying coming right back. Now, I'm looking at cumulative volume delta. Now, guys, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, I do not have it from the cash open. Uh, so your reading is going to be very different than mine. And I, I don't know. Um, it's too bad. Uh, I would love to see it back here. Um, I had to kind of edit a video and... Um, was not able to uh, uh, have all the software running at the same time. So I had to quit book map and then come back in. All right, so we're kind of all over the place with these icebergs. All right, well, let's go through a couple of scenarios. We see the selling coming in, not bad. I'd be looking for this test of 40 and let's see if they can even break below it. There we go, there's our 40, okay? So, and looking for a little bit lower, let's see if they can. Maybe, maybe down to this, this swing down here around maybe 35 liquidity. Uh, I will I will start to look, I, you know, let's start to look for um, some uh, um, responsive buying uh, to come in and try to reach back up into 50 here. All right, we're on the bid here. Sellers take them on.
So let's take them on again. Okay, looking for them to trade into and through this here. Okay, then down to 35. Yeah, nasty stuff, Tom. I agree. And on days like like this, like you know, and uh, just some suggestions. Right? There's not not uh, uh, anything more than that. Uh, is uh, you know, follow your follow your trading plan, and when you have when you know you have an edge, and when you don't. Uh, if you've got nasty players like this in here, uh, and we don't really, you know, you get stopped out a few times, like just take a step back. Uh, maybe stop stop trading because we just don't know what's going to happen here uh, we're, what we're doing with the order flow and are looking at our, our structure and our order flow is looking for an edge if we get like this kind of erratic behavior in here that that diminishes our edge so uh, therefore it makes pretty good sense not not to trade Okay. We got to go through the, the webinar though, and we've got to go through our order flow reading. So we'll continue to do that. And looking for 38, looking for 35 here. Okay, now I'm also going to go through another scenario here that's a little bit bigger picture uh, to try to understand here. Um, and uh, ho hold on a minute here. I just got a few people reaching out. Uh, Todd, Todd says he's got these rotating 49s. But, uh, Todd, okay, so if you can hear me, Todd, um, you should be able to connect to, um, uh, we've got Sam in there who's um, streaming as well. Okay, so you, you should be you should be able to connect to uh, his live stream. Okay, it's just, he's just pr projecting the same chart that I'm projecting. All right. So see if you can, uh, if, I don't know if you're in here or not, Todd, but um, let me see. Yeah, yeah, there you are. Okay. Uh, yeah, so see if you can, see if you can uh, look at um, Sam's. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you've been having all these issues. But it should be working. I mean, like, uh, I don't understand why this is not working for you. It, it means that you shouldn't, you wouldn't be able to see any streams. Anyway, uh, let's let's continue on. Uh, and um, okay, so let's see if we get uh, we got it move into thirty eight liquidity could not, could not get through it. Structurally though, we we don't see a breakout above this area yet. Let's see if we can get a little bit of buying in here. I see on the bid something here. So let's see if we can get our buyers and just just to reach to 46 and a quarter here. That's it. That's it. Just just to see if we can just break. I want to see the, the structure break. I'm looking for some buyers in here just to reach up to here. Right. The, it, it looks like it wants to do it. It's hanging out up here. Uh, and uh, let's see if we can just get that move up into here. Stop a lot of people out. Uh, that are that are short in here. Now this is you know nasty action, so we anticipate some nasty action in here. <laughs> All they did was get above this little area here, and that was it so far. Just a little bit higher into that liquidity. Can't can't seem to do it. Let's see. If we then move a move right back to uh, 38 and three quarters here. That's what we should get. If it if this fails, we should get the move down to the bottom of the range. And I want to see it break it here down into 35. Okay, we've we've covered this here like false breakouts and and uh, etc. Uh, many times. Nice cluster. Everything looking good. Just can't can't seem to do it. And the and the the uh, sellers uh, uh, move it away from that area. 
All right. Um, what I wanted to cover is scenario on the on the higher time frame and, and why this kind of makes sense, why it's so nasty in here today uh, is, uh, y you know, I, I think I'd have to go back and look at maybe some of the um, I don't have any screenshots of it, but maybe in some of these uh, recordings uh, of the. Um, Yeah, let's see here. This was the seventh, and this is the tenth. Um, should be able to. So just trying to kind of, um, you know, what were some of these areas we're looking at here uh, when we saw these these massive icebergs? That, that's what I, I wanted to mark up here. And have to go back and watch some of the recordings to understand them. Now, anyway, I'm I'm, I'm not going to do that. Um, uh, let's just uh, oh, okay. There's our move into 35. All right, here come the sellers. So they bla they finally blasted through this area here into 35. Nice iceberg buying down here. Nice stop run as well. Okay, one more push, maybe 30. Let's see if we can get to 30. Anyway, my point is on the higher time frame and why we can understand maybe some of this uh, uh, kind of nasty market mo movement here today in the order flow uh, is that we saw the move um, into very, very high liquidity uh, last you know uh, few sessions uh, and uh, a lot of absorption, okay, a lot of, a lot of iceberg buying. Uh, and then we have uh, yesterday this move higher here. Okay, so uh, this move has unfolded uh, to the upside. Okay, now we're getting our, our battle back and forth here between the buyers and sellers yet again. Uh, and then, uh, uh, but still, still very curious because like uh, still looking for the move to the upside here uh, in the bigger picture. Uh, just just because of those icebergs, I, I and. It's just um, something, uh, a kind of bigger picture scenario. And it's just uh, something to put kind of on the back burner. Uh, we're going to read the order flow first. When that order flow maybe starts to uh, align itself with that bigger picture scenario, that's when we can start to maybe look for it to unfold. Okay, So just keep that in the back of our minds. Uh, and w where I'm going with this uh, is... Yeah, it, it, it makes sense that uh, they're still kind of battling back and forth uh, some days after we see some of those moves. Okay, we're still looking for follow through. Today is not a day of follow through. Okay, in the bigger picture. Uh, let's take a look at it. Let's just go back here. All right, so yeah, you can see like... Um, we had our first uh, test of the trend line. Now let's go back here and let's take a look at the hour chart, hourly. Okay, well, we filled the gap here. And that's that's a lot of what's going on here. So it came up, filled the gap here, uh, and then sold off. All right, let's take a look at the 15-minute chart here. Okay, beautiful gap fill. Uh, it makes sense. There's a lot of sellers up here. Okay, but look at the structure in here now, too. And let's zoom in a little bit closer. Oh, God. I, yeah, this is just confusing. You have to show less bars. All right. You need to see less than that. Okay. Okay, all right, so uh, here we go. And we got some structure in, in this area here in this 15 minute chart. Okay, now we filled the gap, beautiful, beautiful gap fill in here. Uh, and uh, this was the uh, uh, where we opened uh, on the 9th, or uh, was it the 9th or the 10th? Uh, yeah, okay, this is Sunday night. All right, so, uh, and then, uh, not much structure in here, just beautiful move from yesterday, right? The structure is actually down, way down here. 
but it seems to be supporting itself in here. And this is what we're kind of looking at here, almost similar to this trend line here, looking at this trend line right in here, right? So it makes sense that we're starting to see some buying off of that. Now, let's we'll look at the order flow and see if we get some follow through. And I, I don't know, I may have to get some higher time frame uh, uh, software in here to kind of go through this in a or just get much better at it. Um, trend line. Something like that. Okay. All right, and we're starting to see a bounce off of that. Now, we can draw up the same things, though, in here as, as what we saw over here in this, in this uh, daily chart. So let's just uh, get there because uh, we're looking for a zone or an area where uh, we're going to see, uh, we're looking for buyers uh, in, these, uh, in these areas here. Okay, and it would be down here okay, in this kind of zone. Uh, in general. All right, so uh, let's see if we can get them. Uh, it's already starting to buy. We're, we're already starting to see a little bit of a bounce there, but the, let's zoom in and, and, and take a look at the order flow. It just, it still looks nasty here. All right, well, we do have something uh, to, you know, hang our hats on now in terms of the, the uh, 15 minute chart and the structure there. Okay, so uh, we we need to get back up above this 4650 here, okay, on some buying here. All right, so let's uh, let's zoom in. Let's start to uh, get some market structure on this area here. Okay, as well as rectangle here. Okay, let's see if we get our buyers here. Are we going to get our buyers? Are we going to get our breakout? I'm looking for it. Um, and uh, nice buying in here, okay, nice selling. We saw the move down. We we did make it down to this liquidity at 30, and they did get filled in here, completely absorbed it. So I'm looking for our buyers here and then looking for the breakout. Okay, breakout first stop would be 42, uh, but then 46, Okay, a little bit of uh, wind at our back here. We have the um, uh, on the bid at a higher level here. Not much, but you know some at 37 there. All right, let's see if we get some more buyers here and then trade into and through this liquidity or they're going to get out of the way at 42. You look at some other trend lines as well. Again, just market structure. No, can't can't make it. Horizontal line down here. We should get sellers here on this. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. So, wow. All right. Even below this here, you hear it. I, I'm looking for buyers down here. I mean, this was completely absorbed. Um, we saw a nice reaction uh, above it. Okay. So I'm looking for buyers again down here to buy more. And don't see them yet. Here we go. Now, if we can get a more at 34, and we're not, we gotta be, it's gotta be more at 34.
All right, looking for these buyers here, right here, and they're they're already pulling at 35. So let's see if they can lift it. Boy, and where to? I mean, like I guess right here, 36 would be the first move, but. Uh, All right, buyers, here we go. Let's see it. 35 liquidity first. Look at the bid. The bid is showing even more interest here. So I'm looking for our buyers. Okay, there we go. Now, they should be able to lift it right back up to this, uh, uh, this swing here as well, 38. And then test this trend line here. And the reason that we're looking for that is they completely absorbed it down here. Let's, this is where we're getting insight from this level here and the liquidity. We traded down into it, completely absorbed. They, they were not able to trade through 30. And then we and look at the behavior on the on the retest down here. There's even more buy liquidity down here. Right? There's even more. Okay, and we we didn't even make a lower low here. We made a higher low here. I'm looking for buyers and looking for the the test back up into uh, I like this 38 level where it dropped from here and it also kind of matches up with this trend line. Okay, we've only made it to this structural level here so far, 36, where it dropped from here. I'd like to see it break it and come up to 38. Okay, looking for the break right here, right now. Some good buying, and let's see the move. Okay, move it away from this area, back up into the, the this uh, this structure up here. That's what we're looking for. Okay, let's see it, buyers. Here we go. Pop it up into 38. Okay, now they've broken the trend line. Okay, we got to get back up into 40 though and, and see that buying yet again up here at 40. Okay, and then we can get a bigger move here. Boy, this is nasty structure. The whole thing is just kind of nasty looking today. Um, uh, still, we're going to go with it, though. I mean, you know, with the structure that what we see here. And here's here's why. And we're, maybe we should just, you know, kind of take a step back and talk more about market structure today. And then, and then we can look at more of some of the details of the order flow. But uh, structurally, this is why uh, it's just kind of all over the place. Uh, now, higher time frame structures is is not bad. Um, the lower time frame here today, though, like here, here's here's our move. We're looking for our 40, and then and then the potential for the breakout up into 50 again. Okay, this is a response. You got your responsive buyers here. You should see a stop run above it. This everything should is pointing pretty good here. Uh, for this move up into 50, I think. Okay, we had that absorption down here. They're eager in the in the book, front running it, more on the bid in front of it, finding our buyers here. And then likely what will happen here, everything looks good and someone will come in and dump it again. <laughs> so look out for that scenario. You know, uh, that's, uh, uh, there's there's potential for that scenario here today higher potential and that player has been been doing that now a number of times or if it's one singular actor or or not whatever it is uh, it's happening
All right, so anyway, we kind of left off with structure. Let's talk about that. I mean, this is really kind of the bigger structure is here. This is where they dropped it and retested here and broke out from here. Okay, and then we had another structure, though. I'm going to go with this one, this breakout here. And it's more or less like this. And then we have another structure here. So we're right back down in it. Well, and let's just, uh, you know, take a kind of a bigger look at structure and what does it mean? Okay, we can look at uh, uh, these areas of consolidation here. And sellers came in and moved it lower, and then there's a, is a battle back and forth. Buyers were able to move it higher and, and kind of break it here. Now, the, the bigger structure is actually is still up here for the day, at least. This is where the sellers really came in, uh, up here. Right here. And that's why we look at, we're looking for earlier in here, we we're looking for that move to 50 or 60 uh, up in this area here. So anyway, what does structure mean? It means that uh, the battle took place up here. Uh, it was totally um, disrupted by a few different larger players. We're still looking for that scenario here, back up into it, and here we go. This is the kind of bind we're looking for, to pull it away from this structure and come back into this previous one. So we're looking for the move now to 50 on this breakout here. And we want it, this is what we want to see, this kind of bind and this kind of movement here. Now let's zoom in a little closer. And we've got to pull back to the top of the structure here, or maybe this one here as well. All right, and look for more buying coming back in. All right, not bad. Let's see them come right back to 43 and then break out up into our next level. And it's 50 basically is what we're looking for here. The next level is going to be up at probably about 45 though, just above this swing and that liquidity up here that you see coming into the order book on the offer. Okay, so what we have here in terms of market structure is uh, this one failing here, coming down, and now this one starting to um, uh, uh, fail or is breaking out from it, is trying to break out from it here, and it's looking pretty good. Uh, this this is pretty, pretty good buying in here, and we want to see the movement as well, not just the volume. We want to see the movement, okay, and it looks pretty strong. It looks pretty good. So we're looking for our move back up into this next area of liquidity here. Okay, we move away from the structure. Okay, still sustained, still above. See how it's bouncing off of the top of the range here? This is good. Okay, it tested our 45 liquidity. That's already transacted. Now, due to a day like today, 
yeah, I mean, I like taking my partial, partial profits on these moves, looking for a higher probability trade and then getting some uh, off of the table. And then maybe look for another entry or, no, or look for just another high probability uh, opportunity. Okay, so we're back up into this previous structure and we're looking at the most traded level or kind of value. We're looking for a value area. What was when when price was going back and forth up here, what was value? Okay, well, where the most trades took place and it's this big lump here you can see. So somewhere between, uh, I don't know, 48 to 52, you know, something like that uh, would be considered value. Right, what they agreed upon previously when it was up in this range here. So let's just kind of draw that range up. 48 to about 52. It would be something like this. And we're looking for these, these buyers here to move it away from this area here and back up into the previous value area. Ah, David, yeah, I'm sorry, I missed your missed your question in here. We've been really quiet on the questions. Uh, God, it seems like we had more on the uh, uh, in the go-to webinars, which is kind of odd. All right, guys, there's our move. Okay, and that's what we're looking for right now. Take some off the table if you're, you know, as a, it's, it's not a it's not a suggestion or it's a suggestion. It's not a recommendation, uh, but uh, a way to manage your trades is to look for a higher probability trade like this. And we're up in a previous value area, right? So at a previous value area, you you kind of think like, well, I got it at a discount down here and I'll dump it, dump some off up here. Okay. So anyway, it's just a, a consideration here. Okay. And now we're back up even to the higher area in here. Okay. This has just been such a nasty move and like it's doing exactly what we thought it was going to do. Uh, and and now it, look at the look at the size and and, and um, movement here on the buy side. Okay, we're looking for 60 now. Okay, now here comes that that uh, that player. He just dumped it here, as you can see. Okay, out of the blue comes in again, sells hard. So now we've seen that behavior three times today. So you you know if you took some off at 52, it makes you look like a genius. Okay. Uh, if you held and it comes up to 60, which I still think is going to do, to be honest, this is just a really strong move, and this is just one player's activity here. Now this one player though disrupted price twice enough to break this whole structure here and get people to to sell into this liquidity down at 30. Right, so we have to be open and, and aware. Okay, see how we're getting into the nuances of the structure and starting to understand in here the even the uh, particular actors uh, in the structure and how they disrupted this whole thing in here. All right, let's see if we can get our buyers here back up into 60. Now, what's the probability of that? I don't know. I mean, like uh, in terms of like, it's already come, come back to this kind of previous value area. Likely we're going to chop around in here for a bit. Okay, the one thing that 
you know, looking for the possible breakout up into 60 here is like just the strength of this volume uh, and the movement as well. Right, and you can see it's just pulled back and, and, and a continuation of that strength here up into 60. All right, so now let's take a look and let, let's go over even a, a higher time frame uh, outlook here. Let's go back to our higher time frame chart. Uh, here we are in the 15 minute coming back up into where it dropped from at the cash open so let's see if we can get this is where we found sellers before up here we'll likely find them again okay, we'll likely get a pullback here now if we just see massive a buy volume coming in here no we're not we're going to come up above into these wicks here uh, and then maybe up through the gap fill back up into these pre previous areas here uh, from last week. Okay, where we just saw all of those icebergs. I, I, I can't recall exactly. I do remember uh, uh, 4720 was an area we were looking for last week. It never got there. It, it came up to like, a, it was somewhere around 05 is what I, re I recall. It was this it was this retest here I think uh, in this little area some something like that okay so you know let, let's just take a quick a quick look at it here um, because what we have here is um, Gonna drop a zone of where we saw the um, yeah. Let's use solid. Okay, let's draw up a zone of where we kind of saw those icebergs. Okay, it was it was actually through this whole area to be honest. Okay, so. Uh, Actually, let's just make it a little more refined, you know, something like that. And I, there was icebergs down here too, uh, but uh, I'm the key. The key one is up in this level here, around this 10 to to 20 level. Uh, that's where all of these uh, players that uh, uh, bought on the way down are going to be in profit. Okay, so if we can get back up in here and we see that bind. We're looking for a nice, nice move, uh, you know, back up into maybe uh, uh, where it dropped from up here uh, at uh, 47, 46 or even higher. On the daily chart. Yeah, I, I like this kind of area up here on the daily chart. You see the see the wicks up here. So just a return back up into this kind of 4705 area is not a bad uh, not a bad uh, outlook. Okay, maybe you can get up into these wicks here uh, a little bit higher. Okay, our 4720 was right here. So uh, yeah, that's a potential move as well. Okay, this is bullish. Uh, you know, we were kind of anticipating um, some chop in this area here because it's a previous value area. Well, we're we're above it, and we bounced off of the point of control right here at forty six fifty. So this is bullish, and we're above that kind of zone here that we just marked up. Okay, so if we get more buyers up here, fifty five, we should get our move into sixty. Okay, now let's take a look at the order book as well. Nothing shaken yet. There we go. There's some buyers. Now, let's see them move it. They're doing it. All right, let's see them move up into up into 60. OK, 
Okay, we're looking for our impulsive buyers here. Big size. And to move it, move it away here from uh, this little range we're in right now. Now, the reason why I, I think that's higher probability than I do like responsive selling to trade back down here uh, is because uh, we bounced off a point of control already. It's already tested it here. So, and we're starting to find our buyers. So the higher probability, I think, not not by a lot, but the higher probability would be the move back to 60 here. Okay, just just based on the order flow within this area here, and 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 the price structure, the price action here. Okay, so so uh, uh, we got our buyers in here. We already had our responsive sellers that traded it back here already, right? So, uh, and, and we're above this area here. So looking for more buyers to try to move it away here. And that's exactly what they're doing. Okay, so we're just about at 60. All right, let's take a look now. Let's, let's zoom out uh, above 60 here. Boy, look for a ton of stops being triggered above the swing here. Uh, what, about 60, 61 or, or 62 uh, up here. And we can get a nicer move up into maybe 70, maybe 80. I like 70 here. This is where it dropped from here previously. Okay, makes sense. Any questions on this? Okay, we've seen some, just these last few sessions here, we've seen these higher time frame moves. And putting these pieces together here uh, in the order flow there was some nasty stuff here earlier okay but we, we're getting the follow-through that we're looking for and there it was the original follow-through that we're looking for back up here at 50 uh, and then it just everything kind of fell apart in here uh, and then uh, we're back to it though okay and we're back to multi-day analysis here Uh, based on uh, what we saw in the um, with the iceberg orders, just uh, so many of them uh, getting filled on the way down. Okay, so we got to break the high of the day here. What is it? Uh, Sixty-five or so. Anyway, guys, here's some great examples of structure on the 15 minute. That's very similar to structure on the daily. Okay, and then we're going to go to book map and look at uh, the structure in here. Everything was looking good and we had all of this kind of BS in here. And finally, we get our follow through. Okay, look for some stops here. Uh, above the swing we got a few but I'm looking for a lot more than that oh, this is gonna be a bloodbath um, yeah uh, David was showing something here let me get to the image I uh, didn't get a chance to cover it and then what did you say David here um, Let's see, you said, uh, and a decent, oh, uh, on the VIX, yeah. Yeah, nice. Okay, guys, we're just about at our 70 level here. See how much easier it is when we when we once we start to see this kind of distinction in the volume and the price movement. Uh, this is just easy trading. And you just, you just go with it. Price check on aisle three. Um, 
I don't know. Oh, so maybe this one here, Tom, the, the pull back to uh, uh, 4650. If so, yeah, I, totally. And, and it accepted above it, though. That's the, the key uh, for me, at least. Uh, you know, it. It didn't, because usually, like, uh, you look for it just to kind of chop around in here, back at this previous value, er, uh, value area here. Uh, and um, uh, instead, it, it traded above it, retested it, and it rejected or bounced off of the point of control. And you had more volume up here. That's when we're looking for the push uh, up into 60. And, and there's still more buying, so we're looking for 70. Oh, thanks, Tom. Yeah, the uh, um, well, um, the I mean, the interesting thing here, like um, it, it, we've had the last few days, is is just uh, taking a look at some of those, and we you'd have to go back and review. Oh, God, I should just take some screenshots, um, more screenshots. Uh, and and marking up some of our levels of where we saw these and just massive icebergs previously um, because uh, you know boy like we're looking for it uh, and uh, it it you know makes you look like a fool on on the day that it goes into them and through them all uh, and then yeah we had a few moves that uh, uh, it, it kind of panned out but we knew something was up and we, and we're just noticing that then we're waiting for the order flow to kind of um, align with that right and is this it i mean yeah it's looking pretty good uh we saw it yesterday uh and we're looking for that uh yesterday uh and it and that unfolded uh here we have all this bs at the open and now it's starting to unfold again so let's see if we can get more follow through uh yet again here on the buy side okay back up into where well 4700 4705 and our, our 4720 level was kind of key. But um, uh, anyway, regardless, just go back to your higher time frame and take a look. All right? Maybe uh, we'd have to go back and review some of those uh, those those webinars. Uh, like I tried uh, to find them. I'll just have to mark them up. Um, uh, yeah, I, I really like the move back to just about here, um, around 4705 in these wicks up here. Okay, we're already above the gap fill. We're back into previous ranges here. Okay. All of these players here, like, just had it go against them, and now it's going for them. Uh, Sam, let's see. Uh, can we do a bit of hindsight? Sure. Uh, going back at lower time frames. Uh, oh, it's the lows of uh, 1045, 1050. What stands out in the order flow? What clues do we have for a reversal? Sure. All right. So if everyone's okay with that, I mean, uh, we can do some hindsight analysis here. Uh, you know, it makes you look like a genius, but um, uh, and anyone can uh, anyone can do it. That's why we're here for the real time, you know, forward looking analysis. Uh, and and like I said, the concept is you have the course, learn from the course, uh, and uh, and then come into these webinars, uh, and then we're going to do the forward-looking analysis. Uh, but uh, I, I hear you. Um, you know, to to go back and take a look at some of these areas here, uh, and and start to, you know, this is how you learn. Uh, you you go back and and you review, uh, and you look for these occurrences uh, to happen again and again. All right. So let's take a look here. Ten forty-five. Oh God, this was just so ugly in here. And boy, I mean, I don't know. I, I this is where I just have to say, like, I just love Bookmap. Like, we know this is one individual actor. We know that high liquidity in here. Some of it did transact, but they just came in here and just dumped on this uh, really, really hard. Uh, and um, and did it did it multiple times uh, to get price to go lower you know get people going the wrong direction it's just wicked stuff um and then we saw this down here we're, and we were looking for these moves into well what what was uh this liquidity here first around 40 38 then uh 35 and then 30 uh now didn't quite trade to 30 did it no it did uh looks like it 
double check. No, no, just shy of it, it looks like. Just shy of it. So a couple ticks shy of 30, 30, 30 and, and a half. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, they're totally, it's totally absorbed down here. They can't trade through it. And then this is where we got a lot of insight from the heat map. So again, the order flow within the structure. Okay. So we're looking for the move down. And then we notice like, okay, so here we are down at these levels here. It's traded into this liquidity. They cannot trade through this one. Um, we got a beautiful retest back up to where it dropped from here. They came right back in again. And this was a pretty strong move here too. And they came all the way back down into it. I thought what was going to happen in here, uh, typically in the order flow, is you get this kind of bounce here and then the continuation. Okay, and uh, it, Or maybe the bounce off of this level here. Okay, typically this kind of, yeah, yeah this isn't bad here. But uh, anyway, they, they just kind of went below the swing here and then it uh, uh, did not continue on up. It, it failed, it came back down, traded into this, but we got lots of insight from this. And there's even more liquidity at a higher level. They're on the bid. Uh, and then that's great. That's We know that there's a lot of demand down here, but where are the buyers? When do the buyers start to come in? And we start to look at some of these smaller time frame structures to start to break. Okay, and then we look for uh, uh, those buyers to start to pull that back up and to test uh, some of these areas here. I think 38 was one we were looking for, and there was liquidity in here around 38 here. It's a little muted in here in the in the heat map because I got uh, this um, rectangle over it. Okay, yeah, I think we we're looking for 35 first and 38. Uh, and then if we can make it through that, then we're looking for the top of the structure. And it did test that. Uh, and then it, it, it pulled back again. Okay, back to about 35. Okay, that, that kind of previous area in here. And kind of where it broke out from. Now, it's not the cleanest structure again uh, in here. Okay, this isn't bad. Uh, but here, if we take a look at it here. And then the pullback here, right? Okay, and then we saw the, um, this is where the, the buyer's starting to come in kind of hand over fist, uh, and we're looking for that move up up into uh, uh, 40, uh, 45, and then, and then 50. Uh, and a range between 48 and 52 here, okay? Uh, boy, bullish here. Here's here's Tom's uh, price check uh, back to uh, 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 point of control, right? Beauty, right? And look at the continuation. So still looking for 80 if we can get up there. It's uh, still pretty strong move, but it's starting to wane a little bit. I mean, it's still, you know, still buyers coming in, buyers coming in, buyers coming in. Now it's starting, we're starting to see some sellers up here uh, as well. We'll probably get some back and forth. Let's look at the pullbacks too. Look at the sellers here. Look at the deeper pullback here. Right, so this kind of might turn into a strong move to you know more a little bit of sideways action, and then we'll have to read the order flow within that that structure. Again, uh, Sam, did I did I answer your question? I mean, we saw, I think we we saw this in real time. So, I mean, this really kind of threw us for a little bit of a loop in here because this one player who disrupted it here and here again, and then in here, I think as well, I, I can't recall, uh, but it was three times. Um, and uh, and they're still in there where they still were. They did this move here uh, as well. Or maybe this was the third time. Uh, but that behavior was, was um, evident and apparent. Okay. So anyway, I guess what uh, uh, looking for that potential reversal is uh, uh, the, um, well, we saw the strong move here and we pulled back to this liquidity here and there, there's even more in the book and it was completely absorbed here. And uh, they're, they're 
bidding up in this area here and the reaction was more of these buyers at these areas here that's when we're starting to look for these these moves back up into here and that that's all we're kind of looking for at that point okay and then we look for the stronger move like this now you know you can see it start to come in okay even in here you know you, you, we we were kind of looking for it in here uh, as well in that potential move and breakout it, it, you know, you can start to see that buying coming in, right? Move, they want, and we want to see it move away from this area here. Okay, we already have this insight down here, bottom of the structure. And we can see we have the, uh, uh, the a very, very strong uh, bid here. Okay, and we see the reaction or we see the aggressors up in these areas here. That's when we're looking for the structure to break and break out to the upside. So this is basically a double bottom pattern here. Okay, now on the retest down here, there's more on the bid at a higher level, and it made a higher high or higher low in here as well. All right. So, uh, Sam, did I answer your question? Okay. Uh, Yeah, yeah. I mean, and and you look for, you know, the the intent uh, of of these. Um, well, you look for the 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 strength of the move uh, on the buy side, and and you look for the um, uh, not only the strength of the move, but the strength of the volume too, right? It just makes sense. Like that's what it takes to move away from value areas. Else you get, you know, you you kind of dribble down to like a a, a outside of a range of a value area. And, and people just trade it right back in. Right? It's at a discount at that point. It's either undervalued or overvalued. So if you see the, you know, just a, a mass moving it away from, a mass of volume moving it away from that area, though, uh, then it's likely going to be a, a new value area is going to be established. All right, let's see if we get our move here. More buyers starting to come in in here. Yeah, I don't see. I just don't think. I mean, I just don't think this is high as high probability at this point. Like, yeah, we're looking for them. They're they're pulling up here. Overall, we're looking for our eighty level. Okay, see see how we just got some buying up here though above this little swing. Well, we got to get a lot more, and and to break it. So we got some volume here, but we didn't get the movement though. All right. So, you know, if 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 it can't if we can't get that price movement, you'll see the sellers come in on the other side here and try to try to trade it down. All right, and this will be trapped here at this uh, edge here okay, and then they'll move it right back down to kind of these these previous areas here well at least at least the first one is uh you know here 70 back to this high um uh, or point of control high uh volume node okay now now we'll see if it's going to accept or reject okay it's rejecting off of it now do we get buyers back up here again okay Let's see. One more movement. No, not yet. One more rotation. Okay, not bad. Some exhaustion here. So let's see if we get buyers here. If we do, they should be able to move it right back to 40 or yeah, 46, 72 and three quarters. And that the exhaustion on both sides here, right? So anyway, you can see like, you know, yeah, we're still looking for the bigger move here, but this just, it just did not have a kind of smell to it here or, or a look to it of being higher probability because 
we see some volume up here we just don't see the price movement happening okay so we, we you can see sellers moved it back into previous previous areas here now uh, our sellers going to try to take it to the other side here well then and then will they st start to create uh in here lots of volume to maybe you know see this kind of uh, uh, uh area here become more valuable basically more trading more value and let's see if we get some ex exploration there into 67 and 66 here Yeah, anyway, this is this is just it's not looking uh, uh I I don't know. Oh, what what is it? Uh, I think um uh who who was it in here? Um was it yesterday? David, uh David W. Um uh you know, w was uh, uh talking about that also session uh and time of day. Okay? So it's 11:30 now East Coast time. It's past 11:30. So this is European close, London close. Okay, so now are we going to start to see like, uh, you know, after maybe some chop and some, you know, them kind of shoring up their positions, uh, then we're looking for a continuation. Okay, if so, then we're looking for, you know, more pure move here, more volume up at, at 72 here, and, and, and then a strong break back up into 80. And, and why I bring in time of day here is just to understand when the players are, are playing. All right, like the cash open, like the close. You know, again, trying to kind of fit it into the bigger picture here that this is an auction and is the players in the, in the auction. And they're the ones that are moving the market, the majority of them. Anyway, guys, let's wrap it up. It's been an hour and a half, more than an hour and a half. Uh, and uh, I'll put it up on the uh, uh, YouTube channel in a bit. Uh, you can uh, take a look uh, and review. And uh, and then tomorrow, we'll, we'll do a little bit of this tomorrow uh, for the first 15 minutes or so at 10 a.m., uh, until J, J Trader comes in, and then we'll go through some stocks. All right. So, what? Uh, thanks for coming, everybody. Let's wrap it up, and we'll catch up with you tomorrow.